And we're now live and good. And we're now live and good to go. We are now live, Chair. Thank you. Fantastic. Welcome everyone to this evening's Cabinet Procurement Committee. Apologies both for the change in start time and then the subsequent slightly late start. Councillor Burke and I have come straight from another meeting we've been in all day. Um, in a hurry, we're not entirely perfectly set up, so also apologies for acoustics, bad lighting, uh, and Councillor Burke is sat socially distanced from me in the same room, so it'll just be a voice, uh, anonymous voice uh, down, uh, I was going to say airways, whatever, uh, broadband connection, whatever, tonight. Um, so taking us through, as far as taking us through the agenda, we have to go through Oh, the rules we have to go through, so we have to remind everyone that this is under the current emergency procedures, that the meeting has been live streamed for public viewing, will be uploaded after the meeting together with the decision sheet, um, and press and public will be asked to leave um, after the public business has been completed if we want to discuss any exempt appendices. And then Clifford, it's over to you for the rules, I believe. Yes, thank you, Chair. I know that some or nearly everyone here has heard these before, but there are some people joining us that haven't. So therefore, it's necessary for all public live stream meetings to um, advise the committee of the um, protocols. So the first um, point is only please speak when invited to by the chair and all participating members to keep their cameras on during the proceedings wherever possible and also if anyone wishes to speak again raise your hand like so and direct all communications via the chair please could you ensure that your mics are muted when you are not speaking however the chair will have her microphone on through the whole proceedings if you are referring to a specific page or page number appendix diagram please refer to this given the way that the agendas have been compiled with due to the current um, IT issues and we can't produce a pack, um, it, that makes it a little bit more difficult. So the chair will in, advise this, but please allow for people to find the pages um, and also asking that you speak clearly and slowly as well when introducing your report and making reference to any paragraphs. If you are having any difficulties of a technical nature, please use the little square in the corner of the, for the chat function and Mario, our IT expert, will try to um, assist wherever possible. Um, but do not use the chat function for formal questions or making any other comments. It is visible um, to the meeting. And just lastly, any persistent disruptive behaviour will result in full removal from the meeting. Thank you, Chair. That completes my protocols. Brilliant. Thanks, Cliffy. I was about to be mean to Councillor Burke as he sat opposite me and saying that as he's not, not logged on himself tonight, we're not at risk of illicit chat in the, uh, in the sidebar occurring. <laughs> he claims he's totally innocent. Uh, right, turn into the agenda proper. Uh, so apologies for absence, uh, well we had an apology uh, for lateness of Deputy Mayor Bramble but I think that was before the meeting changed and I'm pretty sure I just saw Deputy Mayor Bramble come on screen there so all members, yep yeah, fantastic, Hello, all members Councilor. present, correct? <laughs> thank you, I have been online, yes I have been online, thank you Councillor Renison. Fantastic, so uh, uh, urgent business. There are no items of urgent business, but I need to draw members' attention to the fact that there is a supplementary report and respective agenda item nine. Um, as this is for noting only, there's no requirement to record reasons for lateness. Um, but more that the supplementary report slightly amends some of the originally circulated report, does not in any way affect the recommendations of the committee to consider. Uh, two declarations of interest. Shout now for a hold your peace. That's no declarations of interest. Three, notice of intention to conduct business in private, haven't received any such representations. Questions, deputations, petitions, none received. As I always say, one day we will get one. Uh, unrestricted minutes of cabinet procurement can see held on 9th of November. Can we agree the unrestricted minutes of 9th of November? Agreed. Agreed. That's a chorus of agreed. Uh, which brings us on to our first substantive item, item seven. 
um, extension of temporary accommodation dynamic purchasing system. And Claire, I think we've got you here to introduce the report. I'm pretty sure I saw you flash up on the screen. Yeah, hi, I'm here. Um, Yes, I'm here to introduce um, this report that's asking for an extension of the dynamic purchasing system that we currently use to procure temporary accommodation for homeless customers. Um, it's an essential that we have this in order that we have a temporary accommodation available for people that present homeless on the day. Uh, the current framework's been in place for four years and expires on in January next year. Um, we are looking for an extension of up to three years. In that time, we are also hoping to look at some of our processes internally and other systems available, because we would, in an ideal world, like to use something more integrated um, and perhaps more modern. Brilliant, thanks Claire. Is that you? Sorry, it was cracking up a bit at my end. Is that you finished? Uh, yeah, sorry, I do. <laughs> yeah, that, um, unless you need any more. That, that, that's great. It was everyone else. It might have just been my end of the signal. Was everyone else able to hear the introduction? I'm getting nods. That bodes well. It's just the tech at our end. So Councillor Burke and I disappeared. That's the, uh, the town hall internet cutting out. Um, I, I would just add for um, members of the Red Report, obviously this falls in my portfolio, you can see it does raise questions about the current system. And just to reassure you that these are conversations we've been having and have had with the team um, and it's something Claire and the service are well aware of and working to address. And it's just the pressures of the times for me. We're not in a position to move to a different system um, at this point, unless Claire, you, you disagree with any of that. No, not at all. Um, we'd love to do it tomorrow, but it's just not possible at the moment. So, yeah, we'll be moving as fast as possible, recognising the challenges that the report itself sets out. Um, any questions from members? Not seen any, in which case can I ask that we agree, um, Clifford was on to flag, is there an exempt appendix to this? No, there isn't. So it's a straightforward, can we just agree the recommendations as set out? Agreed. 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 Thank you, Chair. Agreed. Thank you. Brilliant. Thanks all. Thanks, Claire. Thank you. Uh, brilliant. That brings us on to item eight um provision of residential sales agent service for the sale of new residential property at the makers um, and we should have mike sparrow here to introduce uh, yes you do can you see me okay perfect i do i do i, I feel at a disadvantage joining the meeting just before we started not being able to sort of scan the virtual room to see where everyone is uh, uh yes uh, i'll introduce uh, uh, this report uh, this uh, report is about the re-procurement of a main sales agent for the makers development um, in Nile Street and Hackney. Um, it's, it's to address the unsold properties that we have left at the makers. Currently that's 93 um, that are remaining to be sold. Uh, the contract was with uh, Cushman and Wakefield since 2016. Um, but as uh, detailed in the report, Cushman's um, are trying to get out of, or wanting to get out of, the sales, residential sales business, where they're continuing with other business. And they um, started, uh, they gave us notice to, to terminate their contract. Um, during that period, we've managed to coax them to extend uh, that termination until the end of December. Uh, while it gave us an opportunity to re-procure a new sales agent. Uh, and this report sets out that contract award and we're asking for um, a recommendation to accept it. Um, I, I think that's sufficient and I'm open to questions. Brilliant, thank you. Any questions from members? Oh, oh not really any questions, but, uh, but it might Sorry, be that was have my some assurances about the sort of you know the marketability i guess of those remaining properties I, I think that the change will cause some consternation amongst the public so some assurances might be helpful some assurances in respect to the sales um well as you can probably guess the market is extremely um flat at the moment uh given the current situation with covid brexit and everything else that we've gone through um we are still selling there's not there's not an issue in selling 
and it's still um, attractive to the market. But obviously things have slowed down considerably this year, hence why a lot of these sales agents are getting out of the residential business. Um, we will sell them, it will just take time and we need a, a, a quality um, residential uh, sales agent to make sure that we do get the right prices for these. Um, it, unfortunately, it's just the times. Um, you know, a few years ago, we would have sold all of these uh, straight away, but um, unfortunately, that's that's the problem. I mean, if I can just come in there as well, it, and just to reiterate, it is as of course members will be aware. Now we've got horns outside as well. I'm feeling <laughs> I much prefer doing these virtual calls sat in my flat at home. I can control the noise uh, coming in from sources various. Um, just to be sure that this is part of the cost subsidy model, obviously, for delivering uh, new schools, and in this case, uh, Nile Street. Um, and, and it has come about through a change in focus of the original contract provider. Um, and we have set clear things in with the new contract and expectation um, of the new provider in terms of it's going to be, might sound correct if I get this wrong, but it's a payment by results contract. Um, yes. And we're working very closely with them to monitor the sales situation. Um, I think what I'd also add, and I'm um, here as well, is that all of our forecasting is done on a long term basis. So all of our cost subsidy schemes do allow for fluctuations and changes in the market. Um, and so at this point, we remain confident that we can sell, sell the units and complete the cost subsidy um, on the development of the school and the site. And, and if I can give a little bit more reassurance, um, our sales strategy ran uh, over two years from completion. So we were, had always intended to, to have some properties left at this stage. Uh, we've just got a few more than we uh, anticipated. So um, the sales strategy is still holding. Uh, and it's still got another year to run from February. So um, we're, we're a little bit behind track, but I'm hoping uh, by re-energizing with a new agent um, that, that we'll get added database and clients, uh, obviously, to sell these in uh, as soon as we can. Thank you. Brilliant. Any further questions from members? No, in which case, I do need to flag in this one as an exempt appendix. So, if members want to discuss that, we'll do that in the exempt section of the meeting. Um, otherwise, can I ask members to agree the recommendations as set out? Agreed. Agreed Great. from our end. Yeah, brilliant. And, and Mike, I can let you go and answer whoever it is that's uh, determinedly trying to get hold of you. Uh, I think they're trying to get into this meeting. Bit okay. that was still relevant. Thank, thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank much. you. Yeah. Uh, so moving on to item nine, uh, selection of a contractor for the construction of primary care surgeries. Um, you know what, I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to say selection of contractor for the construction of primary care surgeries and, and trust people to read the papers with full addresses. Um, and we should have David, and I think I saw you on camera there, here to introduce the paper. Uh, yes, good evening, everyone. Um, uh, yes, this is the paper setting out a uh, request or the recommendation for the procurement of a contractor or contractors uh, using the EU restricted procedure for uh, two new primary care surgeries, uh, both on council owned land, freehold owned land, one at uh, Lanteria 2 to 28 Belfast Road in N16, and the other is the building known as the Portico Building at 34 Linscott Road, B5. Um, the project went to Cabinet last week, last Monday, and was approved. And uh, this is the next stage in our programme, which is to start um, procurement of contractor for the construction phase of the two projects from January next year. And I think, in summary, that's pretty much it. But please, any questions, don't hesitate. I do, and apologies because uh, I had all my carefully prepared notes and our previous meeting ran so far over, I haven't had a chance to open them in front of me, so I'm doing these from memory. Um, but if memory serves, um, in the paper it sets up that we're still finalising the finance arrangements. Um, Correct. And it was just to check that that doesn't in any way interfere with the procurement process itself or if, if those are now agreed. And apologies, tell me if I'm strained, dangerously close. I can't remember again what's in the exams. I've, I've read it all. I just don't have my, my lovely notes with me. So tell me if I need to save and discuss things at the end. 
Yeah, essentially, um, the projects follow us a three stage process. We're in, we've just completed stage one with the cabinet report and the cabinet uh, decision. Um, and we're moving into stage two, uh, which is read the stages three and four, which is detailed design of the surgeries and planning permission and the tendering process for, for the contractors. Uh, that's funded and that's that's been approved by cabinet. And then uh, before stage three construction phase, there's another pause, another review of viability um, with the finance colleagues. And uh, assuming that the uh, tender returns and the rents that are going to be received on the two surgeries add up effectively and it's seen as being viable, we'll then proceed with the expenditure on the construction phase. But in principle, uh, the projects are seen as vi viable by cabinet and uh, the funding will be forthcoming. The exact source of which finance have sort of, how do I put it? It's, they still have options. So the reason it's yet to be finalised is we want to see the tenders coming in and confirmation that the, the costs are what, what we're expecting, if I've understood that right. That's correct, yes. We, we want to do a final viability test on actuals. So we'll have actual costs and we'll also have at that stage actual rents confirmed by the district value who sets the rents on primary care facilities. Brilliant, thank you. I should also flag uh, that this is the paper that has a supplementary paper attached to it, which uh, people should have received. I think it, we got, it came out last thing Friday, the end, clip it or not or shake if I've got that right or wrong. Um, and it just goes into more detail how we ensure that the process aligns with our sustainable procurement strategy um, as it goes forward, unless you wanted to add anything further to that, David. Uh, other than to say that is the case, the paper just sort of firms that up a little further from the original drafting. Brilliant. Any further questions from colleagues? I'm seeing heads shaking, in which case can I ask, uh, or again I just need to check as an exempt appendix for this one, there are, so normal rules, they have to be discussed at the end if people want to. Uh, can I ask members that we agree the recommendations are set out? So cause Agreed. of agreement. Agreed. Agreed. From Agreed. Our end. Brilliant. Great. That's great. Thanks David. Thanks very much. Um, and then we've got one final paper, I think. Uh, 10 is just an information item, which Rotimi, you're going to introduce, but I think this is very much a clarification and for noting, isn't it? Yes, Chair, that's, it's really an information item. Uh, the paper provides uh, up updated information to the Professional Consultancy Framework Contract Award Report that was approved by members last month. Uh, following the approval of the report last month, a technical error was discovered uh, in this spreadsheet that was used for collecting the evaluation scores provided in the report. Uh, so basically, these have now been corrected and as provided in this addendum, I can confirm uh, that the correction does not impact on the decision that was made by the committee last month. Um, and I think it's just important for us to provide this information in accordance with the uh, principles of uh, transparency. Uh, so this is really what this is about, uh, transparency. Brilliant. Thanks for TV. Does anyone want any further clarification or any questions on this? It's just for noting. No, brilliant. Can we note the paper? Noted. Or noted from our end. Uh, great, which takes us through all the agenda items. Uh, any other, and hang on, just check them right in the order. So that was 10. So item 11, any other unrestricted business the chair considers to be urgent? There is none. Can we note the dates of future meetings? I'm going to get those as noted. We don't need to exclude the press and public because we're not going to discuss anything in the exempt section. So it's just noting the exempt appendices. And then can we agree the exempt minutes of 9th of November? A course of agreed. agreed, agreed, perfect. Um, and we have no items of exempt urgent business. And unless Clifford starts waving at me that there's other things we need to cover, uh, that is the meeting done and we can really to close. So thank you very much, uh, Councillor Woodley. I promised you it would be, it looked like a speed That was agenda. amazing. <laughs> so wish you well for your meeting later this evening. Brilliant. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.